I go deer hunting in the Australian Victorian State Forest. So I often camp in the Victorian State Forest and do two or three day stalking hunts and I like to be well equipped. So a few years ago I bought a test Pels harness and I mounted a few pouches to carry equipment with me. In addition I also carry a backpack. As you can see the test Pels harness with the various pouches is a lot to carry, it's bulky. And in addition, when I carry a backpack, it can be bulky and cumbersome. I previously had a pouch here to carry a rangefinder binoculars as well. I have since now attached that pouch to the hip belt on my backpack. I've decided to simplify from this harness to this Helicon Tech Numbat chest rig. So join me in this video as I dismount the equipment from this harness and install it into this Helicon Tech Numbat chest rig. See if I can do it and simplify it. If I can do this, it will make for a much more comfortable rig. This Test Pels harness weighs 750 grams. There's only one size and there are straps that allow you to adjust to fit different body sizes. I will now remove the items from the harness so you can see what I have in the pouches. This is a Garmin Enrich Me. It is a personal location beacon, important to carry for emergencies. That's what it looks like. In this pouch, I have a Kestrel 5700 ballistic weather meter. And tied to my harness, this is a Flexmark Samba deer collar. On my right hand side is a UHF radio. This is a GME TX6160 UHF portable handset. I usually use this with an earpiece. In this pouch, I have a very small knife sharpener, very handy tool. And in this pouch, I also have a browning gut hook knife with a saw blade. That's the gut hook and blade, and there's the saw blade as well. Very handy as well. I also have a Leatherman multi-purpose wave tool. So the tool has multi-function. That's it from the small pouches. Now we'll go to the big pouch. In the big pouch, I have gloves. I also carry some thin rubber gloves to use when I've got the deer and I want to dress it. I have the German made low branch pruner. Useful for clearing some branches so I have a clear line of sight. I have a camouflage face cover. In my little sock for protection, I carry a little compass. This is the Santo MC2G compass. I consider it necessary to carry a compass because systems like GPS fail. I still have a analog compass to rely on for survival. This compass has a mirror as well as a little magnifying glass and those two items are important as survival equipment. I also carry a small tube of antiseptic pain and itch relief. A small roll of black electrical tape. Electrical tape is always useful for one purpose or another. Earplugs. A small bottle of hand sanitizer. A small bottle of insect repellent. A fire starter, which is important for survival. An insect resistant head mesh for when I'm in ambush and waiting for a long time and stop the uh, mosquitoes and flies attacking. A small roll of blaze orange tape so that I can mark trails and locations. A cigarette lighter important for survival and emergencies. 
That's it, the pouch is now empty. That's the bare minimum I carry. That's all the items. I like to have these items on my harness with me rather than in a backpack. Because if for some reason or otherwise, I'm separated from my backpack because I've gone wandering from my position with the backpack and somehow I'm injured or lost, I want some of the survival equipment on my body. All right, let's see now if we can fit all of these items into this Helicon Tax Numbat chest rig. This is the Helicon Tax Numbat chest rig. Size is 28 centimeters wide, 18.5 centimeters tall, 6 centimeters deep. It comes in various fabric colors. I chose the camouflage and the fabric is Kodura 500D. So that's rugged. On the back of the pack, it has a mesh and the strap it has also a mesh backing so that allows your back to breathe the straps all four straps are removable with the clip and all four straps can be adjusted in length to fit different body sizes up the front of the pouch as well as left to right on the bottom there are pals webbing so it's molly compatible allows you to fit different molly pouches to it if you wish on the bottom there's elastic cord and two loops that allow you to slip and retain items at the bottom to open the pouch there are two zips with the pouch open there is a paracord running all around from the back to the inside of the front lid and it comes around to the back and there's a tensioner that allows you to pull or release in order to extend the amount to which you want the pouch to open the full opening is about 90 degrees in the middle of the pouch there's a center divider at the front of the divider there are different separating pouches of different sizes including an elastic band so you are able to put different items within this on the back of the center divider there is a transparent cover this allows you to put maps here so that you can read the map if you want the center divider can be removed because it is fixed in position by two clips if i press on one end it allows me to slip the loop out of the catch to put it back slip the loop back and push down the clip there on the back of the lid there's just a soft fabric on the front lid of this chest rig there are also some pouches there's a section that can be zipped to open and close if i can put all these items in here it will be much more comfortable for me I'm wearing a Helicon Tax Numbat chest rig and the cross straps look like this cross section looks like this I will load these items into the chest rig whilst I'm wearing the chest rig well I've managed to pack every single item that was on that table into this pouch so shall we see how it packed in and bear in mind I will probably change where I put things as I start to use this more so the UHF radio is clipped into the Hells webbing the Garmin Inrich Mini Personal Location Beacon is clipped into one of the webbing. There's nothing else outside. I also have the Flex Smart Thumb by Deer Caller strapped to this harness. That makes it easy for me to reach the mouth to make a call. Open the zip. And starting from the back, I've got my compass in the sock. I've got the insect repellent face hood. I've got the camouflage face mask, rubber gloves for dressing the deer. I have a tree pruner, so that's in the back. In the front portion, I have the gloves. On the center divider pouches, I have the browning gut hook knife. I have the knife sharpener, my Leatherman Wave multi-tool. I have the fire starter. I have the lighter. I have my antiseptic pain and itch relief cream. I have my Castro ballistic weather meter. On the front lid, I have the spare earplugs. In this pouch, I have the black electrical tape. I have the blaze orange marking tape. If I zip it up. On the front elastic pouch, I have my hand sanitizer. And on this side, the elastic pouch, 
I have my insect repellent. This is a lot more comfortable to wear compared to the test pals harness and all the separate pouches that hang off it. I will certainly test this out on my next few hunts but I think it's a lot better. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. Do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more and to help the channel grow. Thank you so much.